Hey guys, Alex Azukin here from Mr. Build It and welcome to my home. Now, with our home, we only require two things, comfort and security. With our kids running around and us traveling, we wanted to make sure our home has the safety mechanisms that are required to make us feel safe and protected. So when we had the opportunity to partner with Home Depot and Ring to check out some of the latest DIY home security applications there on the market right now, it really caught our attention. So without wasting time, let's check these products out and let's get into the video. Let's go. All right, one of the first options we're gonna look at for home security system is the Ring Spotlight Cam. This is the wired version. There are other options that are out there that are wireless, that come with solar panel and whatnot. For me, I wanted just a plug and play and not worry about it. So without wasting time, let's crack this puppy open and check a look. Let's go. Like I mentioned earlier, the camera comes in two types of version. There's the wireless solar panel one, and then there is the cable wired version that I have right now. So with this one right out of the box, nothing much to it. It's your camera with the plug, some basic hardware for mounting, and your typical set of instructions. When it came to setting everything up, you just connect everything through your wireless app on your uh, smart device. You have the Ring app, and then you're ready to plug and play. So when it came to mounting it, I had to ensure on the other side of the wall where it'd be mounted, there'd be an outlet to plug it in. So I found a perfect spot above my garage, set up the mounting bracket that basically has your four screws. Once you drive them into your siding, it then has a little level gauge that ensures that it's nice and level. I let the cable dangle a little bit and then fed the cable through the hole in the siding and comes out of the other side of the wall into the outlet. The nice thing about this setup is it has uh, any kind of bevel you want to put on to angle your camera view. And so I want to incorporate as much view as I could that kind of got the grass on the right side of my garage, the driveway and the grass on the left. Once I got the picture perfect for the composition, I then took the screw and I tightened the tensioning rod that's on the side of the camera to ensure that wind or anything like that doesn't knock it down or move the camera angle. Once everything's set, I then use the little anchoring screws that it comes with and to anchor it down against the siding trim. Now the cool thing about this design of this cable is actually advertise it as paintable. So once everything's secured, you can then conveniently paint over it with the same color as your house and it'll conceal the cable as much as possible. All right, so let's talk about some of the key features of the Ring Spotlight Cam. Number one, I love the fact that everything is connected through my app. I can be anywhere on the go, I can be in a different state, and I could tether in and see what's going on. Number two, it has a motion sensor activated grid. So I could set this custom grid layout to go as far or as shallow as I want. So if I wanted a grid on my driveway, I could do so, but not touch the street or include the street. And when anybody passes on that grid, it sends me a notification on my phone to which I could tether in visually while watch the video in 1080p, have a two-way conversation with the person there, and if it's somebody who's not welcome, I could shoo them away, I could hit the siren, which is 110 decibels, it will scare them, it will hear and notify my neighbors, and at the same time, I can call the police. Big thumbs up, great job, Ring. All right, so next up on the list is the Ring Alarm Wireless Home Security System. Let's try it. Now, unlike the Ring Spotlight Cam, the security system from Ring has a few extra bells and whistles that comes with. So right out of the box when you open it, you have the mothership. This is the base unit. It keeps the signal, has a speaker, everything. After that, you'll find a little bit of instructions, classic go-to paperwork. And then after that, you'll see this assortment of trays. Now, this is where all the little bells and whistles and gadgets and gizmos that come into play, your keypad, your sensors, your motion detectors, everything you really need to trick this puppy out. So when it comes to installing it, the first part I decided to apply is the keypad and the bracket. The bracket kind of anchors into the wall like you would put it, and it's also detachable, which is nice because it has a backup battery to it. So if you want to bring it into your room and put it in a nice stand, you totally could. And then the power unit just connects right into it. Now, after that, we moved on to the base unit. The base unit works the same exact way. I decided to mount mine right underneath it. Some people say mount it higher, put it in different locations. I just wanted to make it look nice and convenient for the sound as well. So once the anchors were pointed, I slid it right over the keyholes, let it sit there and plugged it right in. Now the motion detector has a 30 second delay before activating the alarm. So you can angle it in a corner to get the entire room or completely flat. So it totally depends on your layout. To prevent weak or lost signals, they included a range extender that plugs into your outlet and it extends the signal throughout the rest of the house. That way all the communication is even. 
And one of the last things that we're connecting part of the security system is the connecting window and door sensors, like I mentioned earlier. Now they're really slick because the way you connect them into your app is on the back of them, each one has its own individual QRS code that you scan. And that code then is scanned and stored into your phone and it activates the signals within your family system. Once it's set up, then you use the double-sided 3M adhesive tape. You lay it on both sides, and then one part goes on your window and the other part goes on your window base. And when the two are lined up and connected, when somebody opens the window, it creates a chime in your house through the base unit that we mounted on the wall, signifying that, hey, this is open, or hey, this is actually connected and now it is open. I have one on all my entryway doors, I have it on all my windows, and it's really nice because it actually ensures me to know that everything is connected and working. All right, so let's talk about some of the things I like about this system. Number one, I like the price point. For 199 bucks, you can get into a home security system that you don't have to drop some of the competitive options that are like 500, 600 and up. Number two, I do like the fact that I can control everything through the wireless app. I can activate the alarm, I can deactivate the alarm, or I can just use the keypad. Number three, I do like also that the keypad alarm is detachable from the wall, so I can detach it and go to my bedroom with it, or at the same time, if the power dies in my house, the alarm keypad actually has a backup battery to it. So number four, I also like the fact that nothing is hardwired into your house. So you don't have to sell your house with the system. Everything is detachable. When you sell your house, take it down, move it to your next house. And lastly, what I really love about this system is the 24 hour surveillance that they're offering, the professional services that if you are out of the house, if you are away on a business trip and somebody breaks into your house and triggers the alarm, they will notify the appropriate law enforcement agencies for them to go and investigate and see what needs to be happening. $10 a month, very small price to pay for the security that anybody can get into. Now, what I don't like about the system, well, it's really not the issue with the system, it's the issue with smart home technology. It's still growing, it's still trying to figure things out. We're in the growing pains of things. That means there are bugs that we get to experience that the people five years down the road will not experience. And some of those bugs, they might be a little too picky. So number one, uh, just like any wireless technology, there are hiccups, right? Sometimes things get disconnected. Sometimes there's a signal loss. Sometimes things happen. Now, in my circumstance, when that happened, it happened from the internet standpoint because this whole system has a base unit and that base unit connects to your wireless internet router. Well, if your internet fails, it kind of, kind of puts you in a little bit of a vulnerable spot. But I wanted to be real with you guys. I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion and my honest experience with it. That's right, if you guys have any more questions, please don't hesitate to write them in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like these videos and you wanna see more of them. Make sure you hit that subscribe button somewhere and that notification bell, because a video comes out every week and I don't want you to miss a single one. Tune in out this week, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much 